Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, indeed. From Bel Air, we have Jabari Banks. Welcome. Yeah. What's going on? How you feeling, my brother? I'm great, man. How y'all? Man, blessed black and highly favored. Yeah, exactly. Blessed to be here. Blessed to be with y'all. This is incredible. That's right. Congrats on uh, the success of Bel Air thus far. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Did you feel a lot of pressure having to play such an iconic, iconic role? Yeah, definitely, definitely the mm -hmm. pressure. But you know, um, many talks with Will, many talks with Morgan Cooper, our creator, and you know, they just reminded me to to just be me, be me. You know, mm -hmm. bring myself to the role, and you know, it's exactly what Will was doing when he was being the Fresh Prince in the '90s. You know what I mean? He wasn't mm -hmm. trying to be nobody else. So that's what I had to do. How'd you get into acting? Uh, I got into acting in high school, and uh, I sort of, you know, was just like dallying around, and then I went to college for it because my mom needed me to go to college, and I was like, I'll go to college for acting, and then. Where are you uh, from? I'm, I'm I'm from Philly and I'm from Maryland. I grew oh, up from both Philly. places. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, West Philadelphia, born yeah, and raised. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's crazy because I live I lived in West Philly with my uncle Phil. <laughs> wow. But his name is Get James. Get the fuck out swear of here, Jabari. Jabari, stop! Hold I don't on, believe, hold, hold, I don't hold, believe. Listen, listen. His name is James. James Brogan, right? Yeah, okay. But we called him Phil because he he lived in Philly, and I lived with him for a long time. And so uh, that's why, because you know, Uncle Phil's real name was James, James. Avery. James Avery. Yeah, yeah. So wow. a lot, there's a lot of instances within the show, not just me, with everybody in the cast. You know what I mean? That kind of like intertwine them with the story. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I went to school in Philly, at University of the Arts, and then I fell in love with it then. So did you tell people that story, Gr like growing up being from Philly and having an uncle named Phil? Did no, you... I didn't. It didn't make sense. I mean, it didn't okay. really register. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't really tripping off of it until everything clicked, and then it was like, oh wow, like. Every part of my life has sort of led up to this. Wow. You know? Wow. Now, you were a Fresh Prince fan, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, all yeah. right. Now, uh, according to the phillyvoice.com, uh, the director, Morgan Cooper, he had a $25,000 budget to do, to do a feature film, yeah. teaser, yeah. for Bel Air yeah. with, with different actors. So how did that turn into this is going to be a show? Well, so basically, you know, Morgan put the trailer out, yep, you know, I just out of love and out of yep. a pure place. You know what I mean? He was just like, I love the Fresh Prince. I want to see this. I want to tell the story that I want to tell, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, and he just, he took that and he put it on YouTube. And I think within the first day, Will's company, Westbrook, they hit him up and, you know, they were like, we want to, you know, talk with you and develop this thing. And, and you know, mm -hmm. I think a, a couple weeks after that, he was sitting with Will and he was talking about, you know, where we want to take this story. And, uh, you know, years down the line, here we are. Totally different tone, though. Totally different tone. Totally. What did you think break when you down. saw that? Yeah, break that down. Break down, if people haven't seen the show, the differences between what we've seen as a kid, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and right. Bel-Air. Yeah, well, you know, Bel-Air uh, 2022 version is a dramatic retelling of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, mm -hmm. uh, the quintessential 90s sitcom. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's all the characters that we know and love, but basically we get to dive deep into who they are and the actual stories that are going on in their lives. And, uh you know, it's a, it's a modern day retelling of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, and you, when you think of the story, you know, our our our, um, our showrunner T.J. Brady, he said it perfectly. He was like, "We all know the story of the Joker." You know what I mean? But when we see Juan Key Phoenix uh, do what he was doing, it was like, "Did you really think about it?" You know yeah, what I mean? And yeah, so yeah, yeah. like, we, yeah. we we get to see the story. We get to see how Will ends up in Bel Air, and it's gonna be super exciting for like old fans and new fans. And man, it's it's been crazy the love around the project. Yeah. Did 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 you were you afraid to turn something that I guess was so happy, so I would call it bright. I'll call Fresh Prince of Bel Air bright. Would you were you afraid to turn something like that dark? No, nah, I wasn't afraid of it. Um, because when I had seen Morgan's trailer, I was like, oh, I get it, mm -hmm. I get it, and I'm and I'm like, I was like, shit, I'd watch that. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, I think it's I think it's important because it's a reflection of of, of our world. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I think mm -hmm. you know it's, it's it's important to see that. How hands on was Will Smith during the taping and all that? Man, he was. Uh, I, you know what? I, I always say this. It was it was great that he wasn't because he really gave us. He, he really left the our retelling and our creation of these characters to our own volition. You know what I mean? And so that allowed us to create these you know characters that ourselves are in. You know what I mean? He didn't have his thumb on it. Hella. You know what I mean? And so I feel like that's what I appreciated about him. But you know, he definitely gave us a lot of tips. What about the other characters, Carlton and? Yeah. All them, did any of them come on set or did, did yeah we, we had some we had some, we had a few talks with the original cast so mm -hmm. uh it was definitely a blessing to to get their blessing and to see that that torch pass you know what i mean i always wonder you know uh if, if and i would love to ask will this but maybe he told you mm -hmm. i wonder would he have played that character differently now because you know he, oh he's older now and he always said that back then he was he was pretending to be somebody he wasn't right right so i wonder would he play that approach that character different now definitely yeah. I feel, you know, like when he when he was, you know, doing the Fresh Prince thing, he had no acting chops at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so he was just kind of up there just trying to figure it out. And uh, I definitely think 
knowing what he knows now, it mm -hmm. definitely would have been different, but it wouldn't have been as raw. So you, you, had, I mean? you got acting shops, so you weren't doing what Will, because they said Will used to be saying everybody's it lines. It was a little different for me. Yeah. It was a little different for me because I was a theater actor. Oh. And so I this, this is my first time being in front of a camera, mm -hmm. in front of a 40-person, you know, camera crew. And uh, and so that was definitely a learning curve for sure. How'd they discover you? Uh, just, you know, I just sent him my audition. Oh. You, know, you know, with uh, I, had, I had a manager, I had an agent um, that I got through a showcase. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they sent me the call. They were like, yo, there's this show called Bel Air and for this character Will. And I was like, hold on, Bel Air, Will, what? And then I saw the call and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I could do this. I knew it was me. I just had to prove to everybody else. But I, I thought that they wanted like a big name. You know what I mean? I thought that they wanted somebody who was recognizable to everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get this role. But you know what I mean? I just had to surrender to the whole process. And uh, and so I sent him my call and uh, and a couple a couple weeks down the line. What did you have to do on that first tape? Do you remember? Yeah, it was a couple. It was a couple of scenes. No, I had the rap. No, no, I just uh, I just uh, it was it was a couple of scenes. It was actually a scene with LeBron in it. Mm -hmm. LeBron was supposed to be in the first episode. Really? But you know, it was you know budget and you know. But, well, he was supposed to be playing one of the people you were playing ball against. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was just supposed to be at a Bel Air party. He was like, "Yo, that's LeBron." Oh, that's you know what actually. I mean? Was, so I did a scene where LeBron was in it. Um, and I, I mean, as, as soon as I read the scenes, uh, when I first got the script, I was like, "Oh, this show has something to say." You it's bound on the surrendering to the process. Yeah, for me, it was like, as an artist, we're always fighting against something when you're like an upcoming artist. You know what I mean? It's either like time, money, or resources. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so it was. It always felt like there was a push and pull with me. I was like, ah, oh, I wish I could do this, but I need this, or I wish I could do this, but I need that. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get where I'm gonna get, but I felt myself getting there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, and you know, because when it when it comes to like opportunity, like it really just like a lot of the times, like I feel that you know, it's it's about like someone like reaching down sometimes and like being like giving this person mm -hmm. like, okay, I see you and I see your talent. I'm gonna take a chance on you. And I didn't know how I was gonna get to that point. So I remember there was a point in time where I was walking around this track in uh, North Philly, the Temple's campus that I found. And um, and I was studying my lines for the script, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a bee that flew across my face. And a lot of the times when bugs like fly across me or like get close to me, I'm like, eh, I swat, you know, I, I tense up. When there's cold water, I tense, you know what I mean? I wanna stick a toe in. And I was like, I'm gonna surrender to the universe, to, the, to nature. And I'm just gonna, and that was like a big learning uh, lesson for me throughout the whole process. Was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Wow. I'm okay with not knowing. You know what I mean? Because like now, like it's not in my hands. It's it's in the universe's hands. It's in God's hands. Whatever you believe. You know what I mean? And and um, just knowing that gives you peace. And so through that, I I was able to just focus on me because I feel like a lot of times as artists, you know, like you know. The comparison is the thief of joy, mm -hmm. basically. You know what I mean? And so when you see yourself auditioning, you're like, oh, nah, he got more to look. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or oh, he got more acting chops, or he's done more things than me. You know what I mean? And so you, you sort of just start tearing yourself down in that way, which was, I, I was blessed enough because it was over Zoom mm -hmm. that I didn't have to see the competition. Gotcha. So it was just me versus me. Gotcha. And so I just surrendered to the whole process, and I was like, I was like, I don't know. I was okay with not knowing. I was how, how long did you let the beat sit there? Nah, I, 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 it was just, it was just flying, it was just buzzing, it was just oh, buzzing. Okay. I was like, you know what I mean? Nah, it sat on your face. Nah, it, it sat on my it, face. It flew by. It, just, okay. it flew by, it flew by, but it was, it was hovering. You know how bees be, you yeah. know what I mean? They just be around. You just weren't just, scared. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't scared. I was just gotcha. like, I'm just keep walking, doing me, you know what I mean? And um, that was just a big lear learning lesson for me. Like, I'll never forget that. Day. Dope. Yeah. Now, with Bel Air, are, are they recreating episodes that were done? Because there's so many iconic episodes. Like, you know, the, the father episode. Right. The, the pool hall episode, the yeah. drugs episode. Yeah. Like, are they recreating or they're doing new episodes? They're doing new episodes, but they're recreating moments, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, moments that are recognizable, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, so if you've seen the pilot episode, mm -hmm. there's a moment where Will is on the plane and there's a glass full of OJ, you know, mm -hmm. champagne glass full of OJ. And that's just a, uh, you know, a call back to the original song, you know? And gotcha. there's just moments, little small moments like that, that are uh, that are gonna get the the audience hype. I mean, the OG fans. You know what I mean? Did you have to learn how to rap, or did you know how to rap? Did you have that part done? No, I was a rapper before I was an actor. Oh, you was a rapper. Oh, okay, yeah. so you rap. What was your rap name? Uh, <laughs> Big I've been Banks. Through, uh, Big Bank. No, no, I've been through many <laughs> rap names. I used to call myself uh, Indy the Philosopher. Actually, Jabari Banks is my rap name. Don't say that first. fast. We want to hit slow that down. <laughs> Indy the Philosopher. Does, that ain't bad. Yeah. Indy the Philosopher. And I was in middle school. Ask Charlamagne what his rap name. What was, was your rap name? Uh, Dizzy Van Winkle. Like Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> no, like Dizzy. Like Rip Van Winkle uh, mixed with Dizzy, Dizzy 
Devil. Dick Van Dyke. Remember Dizzy yeah. Devil from Looney Tunes? <laughs> huh? It was Tasmanian Devil, but then I think he had a son or named Dizzy. Dizzy Van Winkle. Yeah, Dizzy Van Winkle. It was wild. Like, you know, Rip Van Winkle was sleep for mad long. Mm. And so I always felt like, you know, I was sleep for mad long. And then I woke up like mentally confused. So oh. I was dizzy. Oh, okay. Got you. Because they were no, sleeping don't. on you. No, I got yeah, you. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I was like, okay, they're sleeping on you. So I was in middle school. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. We was in middle school. Did you did some wild shit. Works better for him. I, yeah. I think that's, you should, no, that's, that should be the name. Yeah, <laughs> now, you said that uh, you learned so much from Will in five months. What, yeah. are, what are some of the things the Willie Lama taught you? Willie Lama, right? Yeah. Nah, yo, it's, it's been it's been it's been super enlightening for sure. Um, you know, I feel like one of the bigger lessons that I always that I've been taking with me, you know, I've been thinking about that a lot is like he says, um, you know, don't let the success get to your head, don't let the failures get to your heart. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh and I, I've taken that with me. I'm just like, man, like there's a lot of noise. A lot of noise and there's a lot of, of things that, that come into this business that aren't about the, the the work you know what I mean mm -hmm. and uh, to just stay about the work because that's that's how you elevate you know what I mean that's how you that's how you you know what I mean inspire that's that's what we do that's why we do what we do absolutely you know what I mean everything else around is kind of surrounding it and it's like okay cool that comes with the with the with the territory it's, it's interesting but, right because you want accolades but those same yeah. accolades can make you a prisoner to the opinions of other people yeah. Yeah. And you don't really want that. Yeah, like, no, no, no. You gotta you, stay in here with yeah, yourself. Right, yeah. I mean, accolades are just, they're nice, you know what I mean, when they come around, but it's definitely all about the work for me. Mm -hmm. For me, you know what I mean? Because that's where I found my joy at. Like, like you know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I, I find joy being here, you know what I mean? Just talking. But you know what I mean? When I'm doing my work, when I'm, when I'm, when I do, doing something that makes me happy, that's, that's, that's what, uh, that's what it's all about for me. But, you know what I mean? The, the awards that come with it, you know what yeah. I mean? Come with it. So. When you thought, when you thought about taking this or, or trying out for this, did you ever get nervous that, You'd be always stuck as that character. Like you look at Jaleel White. He's nah, always stuck as no, 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 no. I, I, I'm never. I'm, I'm, I'm too dynamic for that. Mm. I knew that about myself. Like I, I'm, I, 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 I'm an artist that that is transformative. You know what I mean? Like I think, I think you'll see that through, throughout the throughout the years. You know what I mean? I, I, I can transform. And I, I always knew that about myself. Like I was a totally different person a year ago, two years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You'll look at that person and be like, "Who the hell is that?" You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, and so I feel like down the line, mm -hmm. um, I want to take on roles that are going to give uh, people a different perspective of, of about how uh, a black person can be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I, I'm, I'm super interested in being like in fantasy movies. You know what I mean? And, and seeing fantasy just science fiction, fantasy science fiction, and you're just like, like, show you ever seen a uh, Lovecraft Country? Hell yeah, that shit's fire. Love you know what I'm saying? And like, it was it was a moment where it was like, oh, like we can be, you know what I mean? We can exist in this type of, and it was like, this was a period piece, but it was also fantasy, mm -hmm. but it was also drama, and it was also you know sci-fi. And, and I it also lasted one season. It also lasted one season. Right? <laughs> could not imagine seeing all these black people doing this and science fictional stuff. That's what it seemed like. We had a uh, yeah, you know, I think that came down to budget. You know what I mean? That well, we had Ajinu, uh, Ajinu. Ajinu Ellis. We had Ajinu, 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 Ajinu up there yeah. the other day. And that's yeah. what she said. She said she feels like HBO couldn't see black people yeah. in that space for a long period of time. I'm interested in opening up that realm. Right. I'm interested in opening up that story. You know what I mean? And I feel like I don't ever want to get stuck in just the box of he's Fresh Prince or he's. He's done this, you know what I mean? That's not me. And I don't think I'll ever be that person. You know what I mean? You know, you know what's so interesting? That's such a great question Envy asked because it's like that role is so iconic, yeah. right? Not just the role, because we're talking about, you know, there's a lot of iconic roles, but the person who played the role became an icon yeah. within itself. Yeah. So could you ever yeah. truly fill those shoes? I don't know if anybody would ever, and that's not a diss to you, I don't know if anybody would ever no, see I'm, you as the Fresh Prince. Yeah, no, I'm not you know interested I mean? in that. I'm not yeah. interested in like actually feeling like, you know what I mean? I'm telling a story that I'm telling for a new generation at the end of the day, and this is opening up opportunity for me. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And this is, like, giving me access for me to open up opportunity for the next person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so my story is my story. Will's story is his story. Yeah. We're not the same. You know what I mean? And, like, I'm, I'm telling this story of the Fresh Prince, but, like, you know, I'm telling this story of, of a 16-year-old young man from Philly that, mm -hmm. just, you know, gets sent to L.A., but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, our stories aren't the same. And, I, you know, nobody will ever be Will Smith. He's one-on-one. One-on-one. Mm -hmm. one -on -one. And Jabari Banks is one-on-one. -on -one. Right. You know what I mean? So, that's I, what want, I, I wonder if you could even tell this story if it wasn't for, like, the reruns of Fresh Prince playing all the time now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder. How much do you relate to the character? A Will? lot. A lot, man. Okay. It's it's been It's been a really meta experience, bro. Mm, you right know what I mean? Now. In a way that it's like, when you see Will, you know on Mulholland Drive with Jazz, 
for the first time. And he's like, damn, this shit is fucking crazy. It's mm-hmm. crazy. That's Jabari, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. so there's moments in the show where it's like, Will, the character, is having an experience and Jabari is having the same experience. Wow. And so it didn't feel like uh-huh. I was like, you know what I mean? Were you having it in real life? I'm having it in real life. Real life. But it didn't feel like it was like I had to act. It's just like I had to exist. You know what I mean? I had yeah. to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so there's this. It that makes it's, sense. It's crazy. Yeah. So you mean like coming from Maryland, coming from yeah. Philly, Philly, and yeah. then having the tape out there, you was like, yeah. like, like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Not yeah. only that, wow. it was life changing. I seen you at the All Star game. You're ringing the bell in Philly. You're ringing the bell like, in Philly. Yeah, yeah, in L. A. Now. Yeah. So it's just a whole new life. And how you, yeah. how you adapt into that new world, that new life, new friends, new people in your life. Do yeah. people asking you for money? How, how is that? This shit definitely making me dizzy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's definitely making me like... You Van know Winkle. I mean? Van Winkle, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, it's just, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely grateful always. That's what I move. I move in gratefulness. But like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of smoke. It's a lot. It's, it's hazy right now. You know what I mean? There's mm-hmm. a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm just grateful that I met the people that I met. I have a great support system. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's what's most important when you're out in L.A. and you're new and everybody wants a piece of you. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like you gotta you gotta have people around you that remind you to stay grounded. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's pulling you in three different directions. Like you know what I mean? Like, uh, and so, and so, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm just happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't say that um, I'm I'm you know what I mean? Tired or I can't say that like that that's our duality. You know what I mean? Like that's that just comes with the territory. You get tired sometimes, but I'm uh-huh. always happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like I never I would never want to be in another position. You know what I mean? Has being a Philly native helped you with the role? For sure, mm-hmm. for sure, definitely, definitely. In what ways do you think? Well, I mean, just when it when it comes to slang, lingo, mm-hmm. just the energy. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. it's 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 very specific. And so, you know, um, being there and knowing the culture, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, it was huge. It was it wasn't I did it wasn't a um, that's a hill too that you have to climb mm-hmm. as an actor too. And it's like, damn, I'm not really from. Jamaica, mm-hmm. but you know what I mean. I gotta put on that Jamaican accent. You know what I mean. It's like, or I'm not really from this. That I didn't have to do that. So, right. Right. but I, I'm interested in doing that as an actor. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. On, on it's social... hot in here. Well, take your denim off. On to... <laughs> Seventy-five <laughs> degrees today. Hey, you yo, got that, what? That, that bubble ass jacket. You got yeah. a bubble jacket. You got a sweater on. Yeah, I thought I was in New York. Now, on, on social media, uh, there's been a conversation on if Will is wrong for dating Carlton's ex. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? You know what I mean? Not from a character perspective either, from a real life. Real life? Like, yeah. Shit happens, bro. Yeah. That's like your brother, though. That's not my brother. You know what I mean? That's not my brother, bro. It's your cousin. Like no, nah, it's my cousin. And I don't know him. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know him. And, like, when you have a connection with somebody, mm-hmm. you can't run away from that. It's that's like, your, damn, bro. That's your family, though. He's already racked his brain. It's like, damn, I know, I see the history. I know the history. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when you have that connection with somebody, it's like, like what can we do? Yeah. You felt that. You felt that, bro. It's like I shouldn't be doing this right now, but don't leave you know your girl I mean? around your bar. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You know this. You know this, though. Be honest with yourself. But that lets that also. There's, let, that there's al- always been that person in your life where you're like. Now oh. I've been married 21 years, bro. You yeah, I married her. Right now, you've been married 21 years. Okay, he different. He different. I married her. I've been, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been yeah, with my yeah, wife for yeah, twenty. Yeah. I've been. We've been married for since 2014. But we've been together for like 24. But years. But when you were 16. I was with my wife. I was 16. She was 15. Try again. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know who I'm talking what about. What are you trying to say, to though? You trying to, you trying to say, like, like there's a one, when you meet certain women, it's you just know. It's a connection that's undeniable. Yeah, it's saying. undeniable. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just like a, you, you it's not like, and it, it, it just surpasses all, you know what I mean? Understanding. It's like, yeah, I understand that there's this history there, but, yeah. you know, I have these feelings. Have that's these a good feelings. perspective. I didn't look at it like that. I looked at it like, yo, yo, cuz. That ain't the one you should wife because I smashed. Nah, yeah, That's not, the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. I mean, I feel you, I feel you. That's but how I looked at you it. know, when Will met, first met Lisa, like he was, he wasn't like, oh, this is Carlton's ex. He was like, who is this girl? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? And like that initial thought is what's been driving him throughout the season. Got like, yeah, you. Okay. Got you. You know, you know, I just I thought about it's ironic that your name, your last name, is really Banks. Banks. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. You might have been really meant to play this role. You know man. what I mean? I, I feel, I feel that way. It was, it's, yeah. uh, it's definitely been. Uh, an experience that has been a spiritual one for mm-hmm. all of us. You know what I mean? Like, there's uh, each player in our ensemble has something in our lives that has twisted us and intertwined us with this project mm-hmm. and aligned us with this project. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's it's divine. 
Yep. What, about, what about the scene when Carlton's rapping with his white friends and allowing them to say the N-word? You ever you ever been in that situation? No, never. Okay. Never. How would you have handled it? Um, Probably the same way that Will did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I've never been in that situation. Mm-hmm. I really resonate with Will in that situation. I think it's amazing that when I first read that scene, I was like, oh, this show has something to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like that's going to start conversations, and I think that's how we grow as a community, that's how we grow as a people, is like we have these type of conversations, you know what I mean? And that's unique, because I know that probably happened at that school. Oh, yeah, for sure. Remember when all the white kids wanted to be like Will? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and they start turning their jackets absolutely. inside out and shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Exactly. exactly. All right, with Jabari, we appreciate you for joining us. What's next with Jabari? What's next with Jabari? Yes. Um, clothing, mm-hmm. coming soon. Music, coming soon. And uh, What and- kind of music? Because you know they're going to be expecting Fresh Prince Parents just don't understand. Mama oh. said, knock you out. Oh, no, no, no. It's totally different than that. Okay. You know what I mean? What kind of music? I said, Will is one-on-one. Jabari is one-on-one. You know okay. what I mean? Got so, you. yeah. I'm doing my own stuff. You know what I yeah. mean? I feel like I'm, I'm marrying R&B and hip-hop in a way that hasn't been done before. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to figure that out. You know what I mean? Got you. Still trying to find my voice in that. You know what I mean? It's like, I always say, like, I feel like Drake and Don Tolliver are like, are like marrying hip, R&B and hip hop in a specific way, but totally different ways. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally different voices. And I'm trying to find my voice in that. Got you. You know? You just pay homage to the OG Ja Rule, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, are they keeping you in the family? Like, is Charlie Mack trying to manage you, or is he managing Yo, you? Yo, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I auditioned for Charlie Mack. He did. He was, he was making a... Uh, a boy band called Brotherly Love, mm-hmm. and he was he was like developing this this band, and I auditioned for him like years ago. Wow! And I didn't make it, and I seen him on the red carpet, and I was like, "Yo, Charlie, you remember me?" He was like, "Yeah, I remember you." You know what I mean? And uh, wow. you know he was trying to hit on my mom and shit, but yeah, you know Charlie, <laughs> yeah, you know Charlie, you know, you Charlie! know. No, Charlie's a guy though. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Charlie Mack. Shout out right. to Charlie Mack. Big shout out to Charlie Mack. It's Jabari Banks. Seriously. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. So Jabari's still here, ladies and gentlemen. And the last thing he says, y'all ain't gonna have me rap? We was trying to save you, Jabari. Sit your ass back down, you Jabari. Save me. Nah, <laughs> sit your ass back down. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, now you know Charlemagne will give you, uh, will fart on your bars if they're trash, so. Charlemagne don't, don't fart on shit. Okay. That's what I, that's the <laughs> Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Like. Turn me up. Turn me up. Uh, 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 yeah. Hold on, here you go, okay, yeah. Have you adjusted, they ask, how you been coping the past six months with everything that's been happening now? Uh, yeah, now I'm back on their ass. Hold on, all right, got you, uh. Have you adjusted, they ask, how you been coping the past six months with everything that's been happening now? Barry been back on their ass, billboard hurting they necks. Looking up, like how the fuck this shit happened so fast? Now I'm on Fallon doing dances I did in my room. MJ sparkle the suit, uh. Let's go, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go. You get us on camera? Man, turn that shit up. Yeah, we freestyling, <laughs> I'm up now. What's up? I said, I'ma turn this world upside down, yeah. Told bitch, niggas don't fuck with me. Yeah, I love that bitch. She lovely. <laughs> and she in love with me. And she know this. Baby, I know you know this. Baby, I keep you focused. Baby, I keep you loving me. Hold on. All right, bet. Um, I need some water. I'm uh, nodding my head to the beat now, not your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, just you, want you to you, that. Hold on, hold I'm on. I'm nodding my head to the beat, not your ass. <laughs> my fault, Michael. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> 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 you crazy. Right? You man. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, Philly, now, now you can't yeah, f*** this well, up. Now, no, 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 Jabari, you can f*** yeah. up the Brooklyn Beach. You cannot yeah. f*** up the freeway I mean, joint. I need some current sh- You want some current sh- Like what? Some, name it. Some sh- Play WAP. No, not WAP. <laughs> Play- uh, <laughs> he clowning. Play- Michael, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Find the freeway in Philly. Hey, uh, Even though what, what we, we do, do is wrong. wrong. You got some writtens? Nah, bro. You got some writtens acapella you can do? Nah, bro. Let's go. We still hustle till the sun come up. In it, in it, in it. Damn. Keep going. 
Keep going, keep flowing, you know what it is If you got a dream, you gotta get the shish I don't care what they say, cause I've been this way I don't care what they say, cause I've been that guy uh, Riding in the car and I'm just so fly I don't need a pilot, I don't need a stylist I don't count the mileage, I just do the shish And I do it for the fun of it, do it for the hell of it Do it for the shish, and I'm super so celibate I don't f*** no bitch, I don't f*** no Can I curse? I can curse, right? Yes, sir Breakfast club, I need some bacon cause I know these niggas hating yo Straight rap, straight like that Um, uh, that's niggas Yeah, this way, this uh, that's, Still right, bobbing my head to the beat, this, not your raps This nigga think that he can rap, but he a bitch though Ask me if you dope, ask me if you dope <laughs> He said what? Ask me if you dope <laughs> Just ask me, just ask me if you dope Hold on bro, am I dope? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this part out bro <laughs> Hold on, give me another one. Nope. <laughs> give me We're another done here. one. But watch Bel Air every Thursday on Peacock. Give me another one. You're a great one. actor. Give me another one. Oh, Lord. Give me another one, bro. Why is it, okay. You want? Bro, put me in 2022. Give him oh, a 2022. <laughs> give him Super Gremlin. Super Gremlin. And, uh, Kodak Black. I love that song. We got Kodak Black, Super Gremlin? All right. Bar, I'm not doing this with you after this day now. <laughs> okay. I know, I know, This is the last one. I know, this is the last one. Hold on, because we could cut and paste, right? Yeah, yeah. We could cut and paste. Like, we ain't cut. cut we we got to show them this in this raw form. So stop. when your music does come out, he said, stop. Yeah, stop. <laughs> right, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So when your music comes out this summer, you could be like, see, I was better than I was on Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah. Ness. This is a good one. Bitch, I got my own fight on these security in the club. Uh, uh. You don't have to do this. Uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> you really don't. Oh, you're, God, you're, you're made. <laughs> <laughs>